Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, ASMR Molly Pelly. Um, we just got back a couple days ago from our Tonga trip. Um, so I'm going to be showing you some of the things that we got there. Um, <clears throat> my husband is trying to put my son down to bed. Um, so if you hear him in the background, I'm sorry. And she just woke up and refused to go back to bed. So, um, the jet lag is really, really rough. Like, these past few nights, I haven't been able to get our kids down for bed till like 2 in the morning, <clears throat> which is 9 o'clock p.m. in Tonga. <clears throat> for those of you who have traveled with littles, if you have any tips on how to get them back onto a schedule, let me know. In the meantime, this silly willy is going to be my helper. Can you say hi? Say hi. Hi. So, we are going to be showing you the stuff we got on our Tonga trip. <clears throat> First, however, I got a new hairbrush. It's um, a wet brush. It's kind of like a leaf. Coincidentally, it is purple. <laughs> My last hairbrush was purple, but I need to know if that sounds like a good hairbrushing sound. all around me. We are just going to start with what I'm wearing. So this is really soft inside. I've got the red sleeves with like the Tongan patterns. Of course we have Tonga. So they are 19 hours ahead of us. So we lost a day going there, and we gained a day coming back. And then we've got more of that detailing on the pocket. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you know I love sweatshirts. I'm like always in a sweatshirt, basically, while filming. And um, this one's a really great one. It's nice and comfy, just like a good material. And I like that it's black with the red detailing, so. We also got shirts for the baby and our son. And then I got two shirts. And some like, it's called a pulataha. Which is like a skirt and a shirt. We got matching family outfits. We're going to wear that on Sunday. I'll post a picture or something. <clears throat> but we got some clothes. Um, they are currently put away in closets, so I will not be showing those at this time. Or some of them might be in the dryer. I'm still doing laundry. <clears throat> but that's our. This is the first item. Can you say hi? I'll show you what the baby got. So, my husband's auntie gave us this headband for her for when she gets older. It's made out of the top of cloth and like woven material. It broke on the airplane, like on the flight home. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to glue it back down. And it is missing a seashell now. So it might just be decoration. I don't know. I have to fix it. Is really cute. Um, she's too little to wear it right now. Like it would just fall right off. But it's gonna be cute. So that's this one. I need to fix it, like I said. So 
That's one thing my daughter got. Another thing is this little necklace. We got one for me, my husband, my son, and my daughter. So this one's hers. You'd have to untie it to put it on her. But it is cute. I think these are coconut beads. I'm not quite exactly sure. I'll show you all of them while we're doing it. So this one's my baby's. This one is my son's. It's like a um a mocha or hazelnut color. Don't need it, honey. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. So we've got Cordelia and Sione's. And then we have mine. It is black with pink turtles. Or um, is it brown? I think it's brown. With um, pink turtles. Turtles are my absolute favorite animal. In fact, I collect turtle items. And then this one is my husband's. It is brown or black with red flowers. And my husband's favorite color is red. So, these are our family necklaces we got. <clears throat> these are kind of special to me because when I first started dating my husband, I went to go visit him. We lived in two different states at the time. And I went to go visit him and he um, gave me one of those when I got off the airplane. So that, they're pretty special to us. Another thing my baby got, I got this matching with me. Again, my son is screaming in the background. So, this is my daughter's fan. That's the front of it. And the back says Tonga. It's woven on the handle. And then we've got, I don't even know what like this is, they make a lot of fans on it. <laughs> she likes that. So this fan actually came with this cute little bag. Woven handles. This side says Tonga. And this side has a turbo Tonga. The inside is fabric. It's like a really pretty red fabric, kind of patterned like this. So this is my daughter's. And this one is mine. <laughs> So, I thought it would be cute. Mine came with a fan as well. And the same, and it's a little bit different material on the inside. But I thought it would be cute to match her. <clears throat> so, I did. Shoot. Those are our matching bags. That's what we got my daughter. Oh, she has one more thing. Let's see. Got a lot of stuff here. So this is my son's. <clears throat> they gave it to him for free. They gave a lot of things to him for free. If he cried, they basically gave him something. Because they don't like seeing kids cry, I guess. But, I mean, no one really turtle 
on like a leather band and it's a drawstring so he can have that wear it when he's older because it's too big for him right now um so that's my son's <coughs> This is my sweet baby girl. She got a pearl bracelet. What do you think they're doing? <clears throat> we have like this cream colored twine with these really pretty pearl beads and they harvest all the pearl beads there. Like the pearls, they get them from oysters. <coughs> yeah, this one's yours. <clears throat> and it has just like a button goes in the hole, you know, and it's so cute. I had to get it for her. So, <clears throat> she originally had a different bracelet, and because she's little, it fell off her ankle. But I just, I had to get this one again because it's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. She's gonna wear this on Sunday. <clears throat> and then I got a pro bracelet as well. <clears throat> so this one is mine, stretchy band. We've got the white pearls as well as their like black pearls. We've got rhinestones, this, the turtle, it, this is made out of a seashell. It's just really, really pretty. That's why I wanted something really pretty to kind of go with her. And I, I think it's stunning. Like the pearls with the rhinestone and then you get a cute little turtle. I love it. Yeah. What are you doing, honey? So that was that. And then um, another thing we got. This is a cup made out of a coconut. So in Polynesian Islands, they have something called grava, and they drink it, sometimes recreationally, sometimes ceremonially, um, but they put it in the coconut cup to drink, so my husband doesn't drink it very often, or at all anymore, um, but we wanted to get one for decoration, so we got a cute little coconut cup. And I like the sound of scratching it. This might be a good prop for later videos. And then another thing we got. This is a decorational piece. It's like this canvas background. And this is basically like a map of Tonga and some things that are like very um, like tourist attractions. So the first one obviously is the palace where the king lives. Then they've caught lots of bats. They call them flying foxes. This is the main island. And nope, you cannot eat that. This is the main island. Um, then we've got the blow holes. We went there. They're incredible. Then these are the terrace tombs. I don't think we went to the ancient terrace tombs, but we did go to see the royal tombs. Then we've got Ha'amonga. That's like, a, they believe Maui put these giant rocks together. And then Captain Cook was one of the first people to land on the island. We're just going to hang it on our wall for like a decoration. We thought that was really cool. Some of these things, I don't know what they are. We didn't go there. But <coughs> so, bless you. So that was <clears throat> one of the things we got. I'm running out of so another thing we got is very similar. The person who drew this so while we were in Tonga, 
the princess died. Um, and so there was this big funeral, like a whole bunch of ceremonial things were going up. But the man who drew this got to do all the handicrafts for the princess's funeral. So this, this is a picture of um, a religious temple, part of my religion. <clears throat> I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, and our temples are very spiritual and important to us in this religion. Um, as I am assuming they are to all religions. They're places of worship. So we just got this. Um, and so we could hang it on our wall. We thought it was very beautiful. Just really special to us. Um, while we were in Tonga, we got... We believe that I don't want to be like super preachy or anything. I can put a post or a, yeah, I can comment in the description if you have more questions about a place you can go ask questions. <clears throat> but um, we believe that families can be eternal, like together forever, and um, we um, participate in that in our temples, and we got to see all my husband's family while we were there so <clears throat> that was very very special to us and uh, we're very grateful we got to do that so this is kind of to commemorate that for us personally so and I don't really want this to be like a religious post you know or anything like that I just am telling you what's special to us and our family <clears throat> so that same man that drew the temple picture he drew this like postcard. We bought one for my mom and gave it to her already. But this one is ours. It's, it says Merry Christmas. Has a lot of like symbolic drawings around. And it's just like the nativity scene. It's the shepherds following the star. And the angels right there. So that's pretty cool. And then another thing we got from the person who made the handicrafts for the princess's funeral we got this now this was probably one of the most expensive things we bought in fact i think it was so i'm pretty sure that's like a horse or something but this is made from top of cloth now top of cloth is pretty expensive um, it's kind of like a ceremonial cloth fabric type thing. So, um, this was made, um, handmade, and it's really cool. So, this part on top is kind of representing a star, but, um, I bought this because I loved it so much. I told my husband that we cannot leave without this, so... So we bought it for Christmas. We've got the little baby Jesus, an angel, you know, shepherds, um, Mary and Joseph are here. Yeah, it's just, it's really cool. All handmade. We, we loved this so much, so I told my husband we had to get it because I wanted a Tongan nativity, so... Then, before we were going home, <clears throat> my husband's aunt brought us a different one. We had no idea she was bringing this to us. Hers is different than the one we bought. And we love both of them. I think we're going to give this one to my mom. But again, it like represents a star, but they put a seashell on this one. We need to glue the little guy back down, but... And it's just a nativity and I think this one is more like the wise men or something like I said I need to glue the guy down it's hard holding her in so this is the Jesus in a manger 
they use to say show. It's really, really cool. We love these. They're really special to us, and I'm excited to have ours out for Christmas. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna stick all this. Um, I know that we've brought it home. Dee Dee. We've got two nativities. We will be giving one to my mom 